is only the beginning. We will prepare, we will grow stronger. When the time is right, we will emerge and take our rightful place as the supreme power of the universe. Everybody and welcome to the special tenth Christmas edition, uh, tenth edition of Amiga Retro. Um, as you can see, some changes here. One, the Christmas trees are all up and stuff like now. I've shaved my beard off. The cat's prattling around in the background. And today we're going to do a one-off special, um, very short um, episode. This will be because it took me absolutely ages to find this game. Now, as most people in the UK know, on Christmas Day, BBC One, most people who are into sci-fi will be tuning into the Christmas special of Doctor Who. Well, guess what? If you can't wait that long, here's a bit of a review sh review now for you for a 1992 game called Dalek Attack for the Amiga and PC, and the ST, I do believe, as well. This game uh, was based is obviously based on the long-running uh, British science fiction TV series, Doctor Who, and where the player has a choice of playing a, the second, fourth, or seventh Doctor. Uh, and a second player, his companion, is either Ace of the Seventh Doctor's genre, uh, reign or a unit soldier. K9 also makes an appearance in the game. And so does Davros, the leader of the Daleks, or the creator of the Daleks, I should say. Uh, and he also he appears as the final level boss. The game was released on all major formats, like I say, except for the Amstrad CPC 464, it was, uh, which was announced but never released for that platform. It was designed and storyboarded by 221B Software Development, and on the Amiga and PC versions there was also a secret room behind some blocks. The room gave some of the programming credits um, for, each ge for each game, in particular the graphics and music. Ironically, the PC version, which had the most sophisticated graphics, and the ZX Spectrum version, which had the most basic graphics, were both designed by exactly the same person. The 8-bit computers, which obviously at the time were less powerful than the more modern 16-bit computers like the Amiga and the PC and stuff like that, only had the Seventh Doctor and Ace uh, to play as. Uh, whereas the 16-bit versions obviously had the other Doctors as well. And the Union Soldier, etc., etc. Alternative software only released the ZX Spectrum ver version due to popular demand. Dalek Attack was the last licensed Spectrum game ever. It was the last licensed Spectrum game. Um, it differs from all the others in its first level in that all other releases in the first level involved the Doctor hovering uh, on a board, Dalek board thing going along a sewer. The Spectrum version had the Doctor on foot running around collecting hostages and avoiding globes. The Spectrum also uh, lost out to another feature of the game, such as different enemies, as like the Robomen, the Orgons, the or sorry, the Ogrons, or this, and the star standard Daleks featured. Which is kind of weird, considering it was called Dalek Attack, and you hardly saw a Dalek in the game on the Spectrum version. But on the Amiga and stuff, you do see quite a fair number of them. The end-level guardians were also different for the 
Spectrum version to other versions. Uh, features of the game on uh, stuff from the Amiga and stuff, uh, such as hovering Daleks from the CV Century 21 comic strips of the 1960s. The 1960s movie Daleks also made an appearance, as did the special weapons Dalek from the Sylvester McCoy episode of Remembrance of the Dalek. You know, the one that looked like it had been a you know, big grunt Dalek goes around with a big popping great big tank for a head. You know. Other special Daleks featured uh, were based on a sketch in the article from the Doctor Who man the 10th anniversary magazine showing, a special, showing how a Dalek might look when the television series came back. Might look. In an attempt, um, an attempt was made to fit the, the events of the game into regular Doctor Who continuity. In the Virgin New Adventures novel Head Games, this suggests that Dalek attempt but it takes place in an alternative universe created by the Doctor while he is affected by an energy blast from the land of fiction. Um, like all Doctor Who spin-off media, its canonicity in relation to the television series and other spin-off media is also but very, very unclear. Anyway, it was developed by Admiral Software. It was published by Admiral Software. It was available on both 8-bit and 16-bit machines. It was released in October 1992. It's a platform game. Single player and double player on certain versions. And... It was uh, released for PC, Spectrum, C64, Amiga, and Atari ST. So, yeah, a little bit of a special one with um, the Christmas special Voyage of the Damned coming out on BBC TV soon. So, yeah, I did say I'd get you an episode of Amiga Retro out before Christmas. It's only a very short one because I've got other things to get on with. But, uh, yeah, in that case, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, and I'll see you in 2008. Till then, be well.